Hey guys, it's Nick, and today this is the pros and cons for the 9-Bot Max by Segway. So, first I want to start with the pros. Let's get to the pro I want to sh So, this is the first pro that I have with this scooter. So, the first pro is the folding mechanism. All you got to do is come over here in the front of the um, stem and pull the safety pin out right here that goes into there. Like that. You got to pull it out. And then you got to pull this arm latch down like this. Make sure it doesn't fall. You gotta be holding it when you're when you're gonna let it fold. So then this safety clip right here will clamp right in down here to the little thing on the fender. It'll clamp like this. And then your scooter's folded. Then you can pick it up. But it's 42 pounds. It's it's pretty heavy, but it'll it, it's pretty good still but still next next pro I have with this scooter well the next the, the next pro I have with this scooter is the display so you have a LCD display right here you ca you could just click one there's only one single button and you can click it once to turn the scooter on you can switch between speed modes which Speed 1 has a top speed of 10 miles an hour. Speed 2 has a top speed of 16 miles per hour. And in, in, the, um, in the third mode has a top speed of 18.6 miles per hour. But, and, then, and then you can also turn the headlight on with one single click of the button. Turns the headlight on. You can't really see it in the day, but that's okay. And... You have to do a long press to turn the scooter off. It'll turn the scooter off. And it does make a beep, if you guys can hear when it turns on. It does make a beep. And so the next pro I have with this scooter. So the next pro with this scooter would have to be the charger port for me. So the charger port has a little flap right here. So... The charging port has a little flap right here, which covers, so it has that charging port right here. And the charger doesn't have a brick in it because it has a fast charger built in. But if the fast charger breaks, you have this other single port over here that you can use to charge your scooter. So, and it has a little water resistant flap, so this is what makes it um, water resistant. So I, so make sure this is always closed because one single drop of water will damage your scooter. Your scooter's over. If it gets one single drop in there, so make sure to close that up good. And then the next pro I have with this scooter. So the next pro I have with this scooter would have to be the brake light. So there's an app for this scooter. And you could set the brake light to always be on. So you could set it's it's called always on rear light and it does exactly that so first you gotta turn on the scooter and if you have your always on rear rear light which i have on for safety reasons your light will turn on you cannot really see it in the day that well but but you can see it okay so so the next pro i have with the scooter the next pro I have to have with a scooter is the 350 watt hub motor in the rear of the scooter. Most scooters have their hub a motor in the front, but this scooter has them in the back, and it and the and it's 350 watt hours. So you do it is a pretty powerful motor, and it's a hub motor. It's electric. It's an electric motor. It's hub, and and it has um. Some bit of water resistance too. The hub motor, the hub motor is water resistant too. So, that, and then also you got your, and then so yeah, then you got your wheels here, which I do also want to talk about the wheels. So the next pro would be have to be the wheels on this scooter. The wheels are 10 inch pneumatic tires, and they have some slime and stuff inside them. So so it so you. It, it, risks, it makes your chance of getting a puncture really low. So, so yeah. The next pro 
I had with the scooter. So the next pro would have to be the um, reflectors on the scooter. It has one reflector here, one here, one here, and one here. So the reflectors do work really good, so yeah. Next, so now I want to switch to the cons. So the next, so the con, I want to talk about the cons. I have with the scooter. So let's go on to the cons. The first con would have to be the bell. So it does work really well. But the problem is, on bumpy surfaces, you're gonna heal it rattle like this. Like you're gonna hear it rattle a lot on bumpy surfaces. And also, I had some issues where I was like turning like this. I'll put the kickstand up. I was turning like this. I was like going like that. And the bell was like vibrating. And it was making a. It was making a not too pleasant noise. So. That's. So let's move on to the next con I have with the scooter. The next con I would have to have with the scooter is the grips. So. The grips. They do have a pretty good texture to them. Where like you hold on so you won't lose your grip if your hands are wet but they do scratch pretty easily if you fall like I have a lot of scratches on them but it doesn't affect the performance or anything obviously it just looks not too good to have on your scooter so the next so the next kind I have with the scooter so the next kind I have with the scooter is is the um the 100 kg weight limit so so the 100 kg weight limit is is equal to 220 pounds. The scooter can hold up to 220 pounds. I don't I wish it could hold up a bit more, maybe like 320. But on the tires it does say it can only hold up to 100 kg. So it'll put too much stress on the tires and they could blow. It could pop if you go over the weight limit for it. And it's just not good for the scooter to go over the weight limit, but the next con I have with this scooter. So the next con I have with this scooter probably would have to be the brake. So the brakes are pretty powerful. And it does make the taillight blink when you pull them more than 50%. That's the that's what I don't like about them. So, that when you pull it more than 50 you have to pull it more than 50% of the way to make the tail light blink because if you just pull it like this, it's not going to blink unless you pull it like this. See, if I pulled it like this, it wouldn't go. I have to pull it like that to go. See, I'll do that again. See? So, so let's move on to the next con I have with this scooter. The next con would have to be the fender. So I wish this was, um, so this fender is made out of a pretty flimsy material like this. It could break off very easily if you stepped on it. So maybe if they made the fender a little bit sturdier, that would have been a little bit better. But. I have one, I have a pro I forgot to talk about for this scooter, so I want to move on to the one pro. This is the last thing. This is one, one more pro about this scooter. The one more pro about this scooter is the deck. The deck, the stuff has textured grips, like, more like the handlebar grips, like diamond D texture, so you don't lose your grip, your feet grip. And it does, and it is very durable material. It is made out of rubber and you won't worry about losing your grip like my foot's on there it's very hard to lose your grip unless you do it purposely but you do you don't lose your grip very easy on the scooter with your feet so that is what I have to say about the 9 Max pros and cons thank you guys for watching and peace out